So we'll talk about order management. And basically what we're going to go through here is processing an order from beginning to end. So I'll jump back in here to NetSuite. I'm going to go back to my homepage here. And there's any number of places that you can start from. So I'm going to start from the actual sales order, enter sales order and list. Again, your dashboard, you can set that up so that you would see sales orders that need to be processed. In this case, we have a few orders that are pending fulfillment. So we've got two orders here from McCarthy Supplies. I'm going to pick this first one here. Keep in mind, I'm doing this at an order level, one by one. Um, in reality, uh, most of the times orders are processed either in bulk, if you're doing bulk type picking, or um, the person, in this case, I'm going to walk through the process all the way through, but keep in mind that there will be multiple people processing orders if you're doing picking, packing, and shipping differently. So I'm going to open up this order. And what we see here is an order. We've got our customer. It's got our subsidiary, where it's coming from, who's our sales rep, when the order came in, the items that are on there. In this case, this gaming monitor. Um, I know I have 31 on hand, 29 available, two are committed. It's not picked, packed, filled, or invoiced, and there's none on back order. Notice the price here. Billing information, the shipping information. In this case, this is going just a standard ship method that I've got assigned here. And again, any of this information can be hidden. So if we don't want to see people to see gross profit, we can hide that. You see the tax rate here. Notice up here, I have the ability to fulfill, close, and create deposit. Again, based on permissions are the buttons that you'll see. I see everything, but for your order processing team, you may not want them to see close order or create deposit, only the fulfill button. For the purposes of this demo, I'm going to go ahead and create a deposit, and I'm going to put a $500 deposit on here. And I'm going to select the payment method. In this case, I'm just going to do a check just to keep it simple. Um, if you have your credit card processor integrated with NetSuite, which is possible, you would go here, select your credit card processing. It would obviously have all the information, do the capture, and then authorization later once you actually uh, ship the item or however you see fit. Some people capture at the time of date.